Hedge, and I'm going to call on Mr. McGay Hedge to lead us in prayer this morning, please. Thank you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and your love for us. Lord, most of all, thank you for Jesus who gave his life that we may have eternal life. Lord, we pray that you would bless the proceedings of this meeting, Lord. Each one that is here, just lay a, your hand on them. Lord, each one that, uh, that, that couldn't be here, Lord, you know the reason. Pray that you would help them in, in whatever the matter may be, Lord, and help us to, to be better stewards and better citizens of this county. And we ask that you uh, bless us all, keep us safe, and we pray for the ones that was in the wreck this morning. Lord, you know the needs. You are the, uh, the great healer. We pray that you would take care of them. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, join me in the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Certainly appreciate your attendance today and your interest in the business of the commission. It's uh, off a little bit from some recent weeks or meetings, so um, there's several items on the agenda, though, so it'll be, uh, it, I don't think it'll be as long as last the last meeting, but it'll take a little bit to get through it. Um, we have no scheduled uh, comment from citizens, no hearings this meeting. I will remind you that we have... Uh, scheduled to have discussion again at the next meeting on uh, road closing petitions so and we discussed those at the last meeting but just remind you that'll be coming up again in two weeks um, we have no scheduled awards or presentations so next on the agenda would be a comment from elected officials other officials that are with us uh, sheriff you have some stuff now or you want to wait till later I can, I can wait my turn. okay that's the only, and we're glad to have you here. That he is the only elected official with us that I see today. So uh, we will move on uh, under the consent agenda. The minutes for last the last meeting will be available for our consideration at our next meeting. So there's nothing to act on there. Nothing under old business. So let's go to item eight under new business. Did I miss anything in all that? It feels like I did, didn't it? <laughs> Uh, under under new business, the first item listed, commissioners, is uh, consider an agreement with the Qantas Foundation. So I'm gonna um, I'm just bringing this to the table to make you guys aware of it. You recall, if you've been here, that a couple of years ago we we had discussion about this agreement. And Stephanie, we talked to you about it uh, when the uh, arena building was built in the late 1990s. Uh, there were agreements made at that time with Kiwanis Foundation and the Dixon Foundation that established some joint use uh, agreements between us and the Kiwanis Foundation related to the fair and their use of our arena building and so forth. Uh, many of us that were here at that time are uh, no longer involved. There's a, an agreement that the institutional knowledge is fading, and so we'd like to get an agreement in place just so that there's no misunderstanding. There's a full understood agreement that we can all comply with as, as we go forward. So we'll ask uh, Ms. Stephanie to review that again. I know she has a file on that. I ask you to review that. Maybe we can have that ready for action at the next meeting. Qantas has come back to me in recent months and asked us to go ahead and take action. So if you would like to get uh, some Qantas members here, if you let me know between you know, now and the next meeting, we can line that up. Uh, we'll ask uh, Stephanie and Karen to circulate the uh, facts, the points that they have in hand related to that agreement, and that'll give us a good starting point. It's not complicated at all. It's just uh, getting it documented. So uh, if there's anything on that, you certainly could ask that now or make a comment. If not, we'll bring that up at a later meeting. I just wanted to get that away. All right. Next is a consider sponsorship for the 2020 Farmers Banquet. This is an op chamber event. Uh, some of you have had the opportunity to uh, participate in that in recent years. Kenneth is not here, it's in his district, but uh, he's always been supportive and asked us to uh, be a sponsor of this event. Certainly we wanna be uh, considerate of the ag community 
that's so important to Covington County. In the past, we've um, sponsored that at a $500 level, and their tickets are made available to commissioners and spouses that might want to attend. Uh, I would ask what your wishes are on the banquet this year. I would make a motion to sponsor. Okay. Second. Motion and second at $500 level again. Is that appropriate? Yes, sir. That'd okay. be fine. It's a good, it was a good program. I was able to attend last year, and it was, you know, it, it's important to our community, and I think it shows that our support and, and the community is behind our agricultural that's right. industry. So. To be paid from dividends, then? Uh, if that's the way we've done it in the past, yeah, yeah. let's do that. So $500 sponsorship paid from the contingency fund. Um, and I'm sorry I don't have the dates on the banquet. We'll try to have those at the next meeting attached but it didn't arrive so uh, if there's nothing else we'll vote all in favor of $500 sponsorship say aye aye opposed same same okay that, that's approved and next I think Lynn this is probably your item consider approval of purchase of John Deere tractors is it two or one that's two John Deere tractors okay. we had budgeted uh, basically for one tractor this year and we had some contractual uh, um, mowing that we were going to do that we did not Use this year, and for those two funds, we've got more than enough to cover both those tractors. So you you had that, you found two on uh, state surplus. State surplus, mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> you have any details on those tractors at all? They're just they're 16 models. They got roughly a, a thousand hours each on. They look brand brand new yeah. tractors, mm -hmm. and we got them at uh, eighty six thousand for both of them. So that's okay. a good, very good price. Well, I a new one by itself is about hundred four hundred five thousand. Okay. I checked so. used prices on them when you sent the information. It looked like it was certainly a, mm -hmm. a good price compared to market, used market yeah. price. Well below market in some yeah. areas. Yeah. So uh, these are from state surplus, and uh, I know you at least bound them, if not brought them back already, so we may be approving after the fact, but we, uh, we were made aware of it, and yes. time was of the essence. So is there a motion to approve the purchase of these two John Deere tractors? We have second. Second. Questions or comments on this? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same, same. Uh, again, that was covered within his budget. Uh, so, all right. Uh, next is item D is consider approval to purchase two rotary cutters. It says bush hogs. Maybe they were, but they're certainly rotary color cutters. Is that yes. And this is off the, the state bid. Um, of the state purchase and agreement, master agreement, and Woods, it's a Woods uh, model, uh, a make, and they're 15 foot rotary cutters, brush cutters, and uh, they're 15, 307, 30 each. And we're requesting two of those. 15, 307? Yes. And a 15 foot bat wing? Yes. Okay. But you have the money to do that. Yes. And that's a good thing. Yes. All right. So I'd make a motion to buy approve. those to go with those two tracks. All right. Approve that. And again, it's purchasing off the state, uh, off the joint purchase agreement, uh, or purchase. The state, is this off the state, state, state bid? Yes. State bid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, we did not bid them separately, and the price is already established. So there is a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Just to clarify we some of this we whipped through pretty quickly but again the discussion on this would have been held in the last budget hearings we would have had discussions about adding this equipment or this equipment and we're just at the point in the in the budget year now where he's ready to act on what was approved nine or ten months ago yes. 12 months ago now um, so it, there's not a lot of discussion to be had we've already had that a number of months back so uh, there is a motion second any other questions comments if not all in favor say aye no. Aye. Opposed? Same sign. Okay, those are approved. Uh, there are several contracts uh, in item E. You see eight different things there. That, uh, Lynn, are all of these existing contracts, or do we need to bid any of these? No, these eight? are all. They're they're auto renewals. If the, if the, if the vendor so chose okay. to, and they and they did. All right. Well, let's just. Run down the list, and if there's something in particular you need to tell us about, please do. The railroad tank car culverts, which is something relatively new that we've been trying and have had extremely good success with. We feel like it's a very 
cost-effective way to uh, to handle some of the problems we have in streams and small rivers. Uh, two, uh, number two is plastic pipe. Number three is recycled plastic pipe, 30 inch up to 48 inches, and then number four is recycled 12 inches to 24 inches, heavy duty plastic pipe, limestone and granite, grater blades, and plant mix. Anything in particular we need to be aware of there is all just renewal at just current all, pricing? All renewal, yeah, from last year's pricing. All right. That's uh, good. Is there a motion to allow these contracts to renew for another 12 months? I'll make a motion. Okay. Renewal. Second. All right. Anybody have questions for Leon on those? The only thing I will say that this, this uh, the last, uh, the, the asphalt bid. Um, Number eight? Yes, that is um, separate than the one I'm fixing to, to, to let, to ask about let out. Okay. But this is a local and the other one will, will take care of our rebuild um, and our public works. This one, basically, when this one dies out, we'll, we'll revert to the, to the one I'm fixing. All of them go to the rebuild. Yes, to the one I'm fixing okay. to do. But this one we're going to re renew yes. for 12 more months. All right. Uh, you see the list, commissioners. There's a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Items are approved for renewal. All right, and then the next one is the one you're referring to, Lynn. Consider approval to solicit, solicit bids for liquid asphalt. This, well, now that's, that's, this is in itself different as well. This is just our CRS2 and our MC70 is okay. what this is. So what take it off. off. Tell What's me it? again. This is a new, uh, well, I'll just say solicit bids for this um, liquid asphalt. Is what right. this is. This is separate from what I just included. Just so you need approval to solicit bids yes. for liquid yes. asphalt. Yes. Last meeting, we approved some sort of asphalt. Yes, that's bids. for our rebuild okay. plant mix bid, yes. Okay. And this liquid asphalt then is for chip seal projects and stuff like it's that? It's our normal day day to day patchwork, yes. So is there a motion to approve soliciting bids for liquid asphalt for a 12 month contract? I'll make a motion. Okay. There is a motion, is there a second? Second. Questions, comments on that? Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. All right, that is approved. Uh, next item is uh, consider contract for the attorney. And Ms. Stephanie Cotton has been working for Covington County Commission for almost six years, maybe six years. It's been seven years. Yeah, several years. And uh, we would like to. Uh, consider terms of, of her services and how we compensate her and after discussion with her I think that what makes sense would be uh, a retainer if you will of $2,100 a month if you want to make a note of that $2,100 a month the bill, billing rate is $165 an hour which is certainly well within the current rate for attorneys in Covington County uh, if it's not in within the range, it's on the lower end. It's out of the range on the low side. Uh, so it's a very fair, favorable <coughs> rate for the county. And that's based on an expected 150 hours of billable time per year. And uh, she tracks those monthly and emits that for billing. Right now we're just paying as she bills us hour by hour. This would give her a steady source of income and give us a, a, an easily budgeted amount. And if at the end of a period she's exceeded those 150 hours then she will bill those the overage at 165 an hour so no premium or overtime of any kind is just a st establishing amount that she'll understand we'll understand we can cut our check every month and then balance it up at the end of the year if there's an overage on the billing on the hours uh, that's the proposal any, any thoughts on that or commissioners y'all have uh, want to think something different mm -hmm. I think you're okay with that after discussion all right. all right there's a motion is there a second I will. Joe yes sir we've discussed it and I think everybody's happy with the services and then the, and the charges okay if there's nothing else we'll vote in uh, all in favor of approving the terms mentioned say aye aye, aye. opposed same sign all right that's approved and that should get us I think I failed to mention, I think we had agreed that that would go for three years. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. And 
you know, wanted something changes put in and the commission said that was it. Just uh, okay. Uh, I know there's a, there was some discussion uh, late in the period. It's not on the agenda at this time, but a couple of the commissioners mentioned to me the uninterest in uh, considering uh, the administrator's contract. Since she's sitting right here by me, y'all won't get her stirred up. <laughs> I'm just we discussed it, and I, I think that I would like to go ahead and make a motion to renew her contract at this time. I renew it with the, with the terms. With the same okay. terms and stuff. Yeah. I, would, I, I didn't have a chance uh, to review this until just before we came in here, but the, uh, I, would love for the, I would love for us to consider a, a, an, up, an upgrade in pay just a little bit. I don't know if y'all have had a conversation about that, if you want to look at that in the budget, uh, when we consider the budget in uh, two weeks. Yeah, I, and, I, and I agree with you, I'd love for us to do that too. I don't think any of us really realize what Karen does for all of us until right. you're here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she's got a great group with her. Uh, but I too would like to look at the budget before we. Well, I'd, I'd withdraw my motion for that and, and would love to look at it at the budget because uh, uh, with it, if there's going to be any funds available for cost of living, that would certainly affect the contract, and so yeah. maybe we'll just wait at that time. You want to Thank just you, act on it the I'll, next week? Okay, that. all right. You okay with us holding that for two <laughs> weeks? Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll have that specifically on the agenda then as part of our budget conversation. All right. Uh, Next is a little more complicated. Sheriff, this is your time if you want to come up. We're going to ask, uh, ask you to present thoughts on uh, bids received last week, I believe it was, for uh, an open last week for inmate phones. Uh, a couple of commissioners were there. I had the privilege of sitting in on that. It's a pretty complicated bid package. It is. Uh, I've reviewed both packages over the weekend. And make, uh, let me clear, make one point of clarification. There were about four or five bids received. Yes, they were numerous we, bids. We, we narrowed it down to two. Narrowed it down to the, what we felt were the most competitive. That's two. right, and uh, we narrowed it down to Combined Public Communications and Securus, Securus, S-E-C-U-R-U-S. Uh, I've done some research, read both of their uh, proposals. Uh, I, I feel firmly that the, uh, the package that the Combined Public Communications sent is more uh, more more in the line of what we need uh, it passes on some savings to the consumer and uh, I, I believe it's more fair uh, and I, after reading the contracts and everything I don't see any hidden cost in the the CPC contract but there are some in the in the other contract um, I, I recommend that we stay with what we have combined public communications uh, they serve us they've served us well and uh, there were a couple of things that we made note of the other day. I think their their billable rate was a penny a minute below. Right, the uh, the billable the rate uh, for a combined uh, for CPC was twenty cents, whereas the other uh, Securus was twenty one cents. Uh, there is a higher rate of return from Securus, however, uh, with that rate of return, there's more charges being put on the consumer themselves. Uh, which would make it a hardship on anyone that's wanting to participate in in these type calls, in these type of uh, emails, in these type of uh, video visitation. And those costs are being passed on to the families or they, often an employer on. or anybody that's willing to take that call. That's right. Paying these, that from the, the, the way that this is set up, this is going to this will streamline things at the at the county jail uh, with the video visitation. Now, we've been closed down for weeks on end now with visitation. This right here will offer people a chance to come and see, see their, I mean, they can't, they can't actually see them and touch them anyway, but they can actually have a conversation with them on video. Uh, and it's, it's a lot more streamlined and, and better for the consumer. The CPC packet charges a flat rate of 20 cents a minute for a video conversation. Whereas the the Securus charges five ninety five for a twenty minute block, uh, that's a twenty minute block. It's uh, it's a lot cheaper for the for the uh, for the CPC package. And you mentioned that the the 
the commission, if you will, that flows back to the county or the, the uh, sheriff's office is a little lower on the current from the current right. contract. But there was an offset one time. There's a one time bonus sign-on uh, bonus bonus. Sign fee of uh, thirty five thousand right. uh, dollars. Also, uh, this this commission that we have with the CPC that that's the commission that we'll get. That's there's no more cost involved in it, uh, anything like that. And I'm I'm leery of this other one. Is uh, CPC timely on remitting commissions and so forth? Yes, the current we've contract? had no okay. problems with them whatsoever. Okay. Anytime we've had a, a hiccup, yeah. that they get it taken care of within 24 hours. Good. Okay. Tommy, I know you were at the bid open. You reviewed those pretty closely. You had anything different or anything you want to point out? Uh, I think the sheriff covered mostly everything. Um, you know, the adding of the video calls. Um, in my opinion, it would increase the number of calls, so you'd make more commission and volume than you would up front with the uh, securus. Okay. And I also like to add, with these video calls, it's not just limited to family. It's attorneys, it's judges. Of course, we already have something set up for our judges and everything, but a lot of time right now with this pandemic going on, attorneys are leery about coming to the jail. They don't want to catch the coronavirus, which we don't have it over there, but I can understand their caution. This would allow them to actually to speak with their their client and and get some things done. And maybe we can thin out the herd a little bit. Good. Karen, do you have anything you want to point out from review? Uh, we've had no issues with the CPC, so they have been a Good company to work with. Good company no, to work with. No issues. All right. So your recommendation is to uh, renew with CPC under the proposed the proposals that are in the bid. Yes, sir. And uh, commissioners, y'all heard that. Any anybody have a question before we entertain a motion, or anybody want to make a motion now based on the recommendations? I make a motion that we go with okay. CPC. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. Questions, anything you have questions on? If not, all in favor say aye. Nah. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Carried. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Next item on the agenda is a discussion items by commissioners or the attorney. We'll just come down the road. Tommy, you have anything? The uh, oh. wing project. The wing yeah. meeting. Yeah. Just don't forget about the meeting. Location for that meeting. It's going to be at the Wing Barn at 5 o'clock. Okay. I'm meeting with the, that gentleman personally at 3 30 uh, at CDG's office to discuss our, our some of our concerns he may have on our end. That same day. That same day Very prior good. to y'all's meeting. So. Good. So this is a community meeting that anyone can come anyone to can and learn a little more firsthand about the uh, solar farm that's um, under underway for construction development here. And I'm pretty excited about it. So good, good. I know I'm, I'm excited to see what they've done. Okay. okay. I have one thing. I wanted to, to thank the people of Covenant County, the Sheriff's Office, uh, Fire Dep uh, Police Department, Andalusia, everyone that contributed to help these people in Louisiana. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get to make that trip to help to take some supplies and stuff to them. And, uh, it, it really made you feel good to know that these people needed it and got what they needed. They were just overwhelmed with the generosity from Covenant County. And, uh, it was a long day. It was uh, 23 hours from the time we left that morning to the time we got back but next morning, but it was well worth it. And thank you all for helping. You took two trailer loads or three? We took a trailer load and a two truck load. Okay, that's good. Good. Appreciate the effort that you all made to lead that. Lynn, do you have anything else? Uh, our bridge project down here in uh, the wing area, on our, we're about 60% complete on that bridge project. Hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll be through that one and move to the next. Our 107 project right now, I got confirmation, I think it was Thursday, Thursday around lunch. Uh, they approved our design for the turn lane. So I'm, with the new alignment, 
Um, I got the design already done for the alignment, but I got to get that in the hands of the surveyor to recalculate the acreage for us and then just proceed with our next steps. We're a lot closer now that they have finally approved that plan, but it's the turn lane really hurt do, us. Do you think um, we'll start clearing before winter time? If I can get all this stuff resolved yeah. real quick, okay. um, it may require an additional archaeological survey for that little bit of land. I don't think it's about an acre, but it's just the prior, I got to call the right of way. Um, engineer there in Troy today to find out. I might send the district two commissioner down there to do that survey and help us out a little bit. Yeah. Be glad to come. It would take long, would it, Joe? Mm -hmm. But I'm meeting months. with him. Okay. I'm, I'm going to call call him, as a matter of fact, right after lunch today and discuss okay. our what we have to do as far as maybe trying to streamline that since we've already had the, the bulk of it already done. Okay. So. All right. Anything else? If there mm -hmm. is nothing, a motion, motion to, to adjourn, adjourn would be in order. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Yeah. You barely got in, man. Sorry about that. We, uh, we're getting up some more stuff to go to Louisiana. Yeah. So if any of you guys know of anyone who wants to send more things, I've got a, another like a pound or so of uh, diapers and Reese's and Chewy's candy and stuff like that that needs to go up there. So I hate to make a trip. It's a little small load. So if anybody has anything else that's going to go, we'll get it over there. Okay. Where will they bring that? Motion to adjourn, Joe Martin. We're adjourned. Thank you.